that he's around. He's also now showing me an image of you um, getting the with a printer. Do you understand this? Like you've cracked it with a printer. <laughs> I did this morning. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to say a big <laughs> f-bomb. Oh, there it oh. is. <laughs> Sorry, K-Rock will beef it out for me. Lindy and Josh on K-Rock 955. Well, when you're ready, uh, this is Lindy and you can ask your question. Hi, Carmelina. How are you today? Um, yeah, I'm not too bad. How are you? Yeah, not too bad for an old chook who's turning 46 tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Happy birthday for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much. How can I That's help good. you today and how can I connect for you? Um, I was just wondering, um, I just wanted to know um, just about my dad, just wanting to know wherever he is, you know, because he did leave us so unexpectedly. Okay, my lovely. Um, Let me tune into that for you before you give me too much yeah. information um, because I would love to get a connection with your dad and see yeah. um, what messages he has for you. Um, so as I'm tuning into your dad, I do feel um, that he... You know, he was a man of mystery at some sometimes. That's what I'm feeling as I connect in with him. I do get a mm -hmm. sense of kindness as he steps forward here. And I know that he talks about my little girl, so I'm assuming that must mean you. I know towards the end of his life, there might have been a little bit of distance or space uh, where you couldn't uh, get to him in time. And so there's a feeling of uh, things being left unsaid uh, with your father. Does this make sense to you, please, Carmelina? Yeah, it does. Oh, bless you, darling. Big loves for you. Look, you know what? Dad's coming in really, really close to you. And when he comes really close, it's that feeling of um, emotion that rocks up. And just know that um, you're safe and Dad is safe. And he's been following your journey intensely. <laughs> and so I know with Dad that uh, yeah. you did mention that his departure from this earth was rather sudden. Um, and I know that there must be um, things that have left been left unsaid um, with Dad. But Dad wants you to know that you can still talk to him and you can still um, communicate uh, these things to him. Would you understand, this is what I'm feeling as I connect in, that your father uh, was a bit of a gadget man, so he would fiddle around with electronics and torches and GPSs and fiddly things like that? Okay, because he that just brings right. that, yeah, he's just bringing that through and he's just, you know, fiddling about with things. Um, but as I connect yeah. in with Dad, I know that um, he has an enormous amount of love for you, incredibly kind heart as he connects in. I know there's an important date um, around you or around uh, your dad that's very significant. I feel like it's within two days. So I don't know if you're having a birthday um, um, or your dad's having a birthday. No, it's his anniversary today. It's his anniversary today. Yeah. Oh, bless you, darling. So just understand that Dad is definitely coming through for you. He's also showing me that you have a habit of chewing on pens and the back of pens. And if I look, oh, and if I look at um, you know, at your pens, you've got a jar of pens in the kitchen, and they chew to sh they're to hell and gone. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's just a little yeah. nervous thing. It's better than you biting your nails because your dad remembers you biting your nails when you were a kid, and it's something you grew oh. out of as you grew older. Do you understand that? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. And um, so Dad understands, you know, that anxiety can sometimes get the better of you, but he talks about really going within and, you know, really just starting to love yourself warts and all and don't give a flying beep what people think of you because that's not important, okay? And so Dad really wants you to understand that because he knows that you've been made an example of recently. He knows that you've been through some that has really ripped you apart and uh, you've had to defend yourself and you've had to really put yourself on the line and he says my darling this will soon be over so please don't worry about it and just see the situation as healed and mm -hmm. know that your dad is bringing as much healing into this um, situation as possible and he talks about in the grand scheme of things it really doesn't matter what people think of you you know and this is a big part of your journey big part of your journey but there's no <laughs> mel that comes in do you understand mel please that's my sister-in-law that's your sister-in-law and okay. also my daughter's teacher is called mel so Excellent. there's two mel's in my life fantastic look dad's just wanting to bring in as much as he can to make you aware that um um you know that he's around he's also now showing me an image of you um getting the with a printer do you understand this like you've cracked it with a printer <laughs> I did this morning. Yes. I, I, I wanted to say a big f***ing <laughs> f-bomb. Oh, f There it oh. is. Sorry, K-Rock will beef it out for me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 
But look, he just wants to say, look, he sees you, he's with you. Please don't doubt it, you know. He okay. can't yeah. get it through to you anymore that he's around. And he says, it's not, I'm not gone. I'm just in a different dimension. As wanky as that sounds, I'm just in a different dimension, that's all. And so you're going to get to know him again through a very different process. And so just be open um, to the changes that are occurring in your life at the moment, Dad says, because... This is healing. This is a pivotal point of change in your life and there's no turning back, is what he says. Yep. There's absolutely no turning back. Oh. And, and he goes, love will be what it will be. And he goes, you will find love again and you will learn to love yourself. Okay. Oh, my darling. I just want to see if he's got anything else uh, here. Now, um, he's just showing me... Um, uh, chewing gum, it's those old chewing gums that used to be in the box and you would rattle them and they would make a sound. So I feel like he would put them in his top pocket or he's making some sort of reference to you um, having those old style chewing uh, gums. Yeah, well, my dad used to always, um, with all the, um, he used to take some medication, he used to constantly, um, one of the side effects was he'd constantly be chewing with his mouth. Right. That's my dad, so okay. more than anything. Excellent. So, I love the way he tried to get that information across. And so when spirit communicate with me, it's like yeah. a little bit like Chinese whispers. So I'm connecting in on all different levels and then I'm trying yeah. to interpret what they're saying. And so that's how he gave that to me. But you've interpreted in that way, which is brilliant, because I wouldn't have been able yeah. to interpret that information about medication and chewing because I don't that's not familiar to me. So your yeah. dad would have struggled to help me get that information across. So he gave it away <laughs> in a way that I would understand and that you would understand. And I think that's so bloody clever, don't you? I think mm -hmm. it's really clever of spirit. They yeah. blow me away. They yeah. really do. Now, your dad, um, I'm just going to have to wrap up this reading because it just won't go. <laughs> um, and I would That's like right. to read for oh, others no. too. That's what he's like when he was here. He would just ramble on. Okay. And <laughs> that absolutely makes sense. Look, he's an absolute gem, your dad, and he's talking about a special crystal that's coming your way. Now, I'm not fluffy with crystals and chakras and unicorns. Well, I like unicorns, <laughs> um, but I'm not a particularly... Yeah you know, drawn to crystals. I think they're pretty. Um, yeah. But Dad's talking yeah. about a very special purple stone that's coming your way and it's very rough um, oh. and unpolished. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, my daughter's got one, actually. Okay, so that's She's Dad's way. Bless oh. you, darling. Bless your heart. And look, um, that's Dad's way of recognising your daughter, too. So that's how I link um, that crystal in. And so my interpretation was, you know, that perhaps that's coming, but it's already there. And so when you said yeah. that, I understand what Dad is trying to say, and he's trying mm -hmm. to connect in with your daughter. Okay, and he's sending okay. lots of love there as well. And he talks about a new dog coming in on the scene as well. Oh, yeah, I've got a dog currently, but he's quite old, but okay. Yes, well, I'm not going to say anything more about that, but <laughs> just... Uh... <laughs> but no, that's fair enough. Oh, big loves, darling. Uh, and, you yeah, know what, don't forget you. to do those things that bring you joy, and I'm sending so much love your way and even bigger loves from your beautiful dad. Oh, okay. I miss him so much. I love him so much. And you know what, that love doesn't change, Yeah. And just because no. he's not here in the physical doesn't mean he's not your dad. He's still your dad no. and he's still yep. around, so remember that. You know, we just have to bust yep. through that human experience that stops us from experiencing these things. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah. All right, beautiful. Now, I know you had a lovely name, which was so long, and I can't remember what it was. Car oh, Carmelina. 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 Beautiful Carmelina. Yeah. What a gorgeous name. Must be yeah. Italian. It is, it yeah, is. Beautiful. All right, darling, you take care and thank you so much yep. for calling in and understanding that connection with your beautiful father. Yeah, oh, thank you so, so much. My pleasure, darling. Take care. Herbie and Josh on K Rock 955.